kids, let us learn animal life and growth now. Which place can you find a cow? I think everybody can answer this question. You can generally find them eating grass near fields, farms or mountain areas. For sure, not on trees. That is basically any land where it can find its food. And where will you find a fish? Definitely not on the road. Fish can live in water only. So we see animals live in different places. Some live on land like cow. Some live in water as we said fish. Others live on trees like monkey. Some animals can fly too, typically bird. Even many insects like butterfly, moth can fly too. Do you know which is the national animal of our country, India? Don't know? Okay, okay, I will give you a hint. It is a very brave wild animal. Aman, you saw this animal in the jungle too. Yes, it is tiger. And do you know which is the national bird of our country? Yes. It is the beautiful bird, peacock. Now, I will ask you a simple question. Where does a frog live? Yes, we see it hopping around in the gardens or on rocks. So, it lives on the land. But, wait a minute. I have seen it many times in the pond or river too. So, where does it live actually? The frog is lucky. It has two homes. It can live both on land and in water. Some animals' home is water only. For example, various types of fishes. We can see them in ponds, lakes, river and sea. I know now Anand will say that a goldfish lives in his house. Yes, he is right. We do keep some fish as pet. But we keep it in aquarium or any container filled with water. Right, Anand? So, even at his home, the fish lives in water only. Have you ever thought, why fish live in water only? Can fish live on land? As we see, it has no legs to walk on land. Most important thing is, it won't be able to breathe on land. We all know breathing is necessary to live. A fish can breathe only in water, as it can take oxygen from water only, not from air like us humans. A fish will die if kept too long out of water due to lack of breathing. So, a fish does everything, right from eating to sleeping, in water only. Anand, you naughty kid. I know what you are thinking and smiling. Yes, they even go to toilet in water only. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think lions cannot fly? It does not have wings like all flying birds. What if we give wings to the lion? Can it still fly? No, not just wings are needed. Lion is very huge and heavy. It has to be small and light weighted also in order to fly. Now, you can answer this easily. Some huge birds like ostrich, emu, kiwi, they cannot fly even though they have wings. These birds are called as flightless birds. If we see, they are so big, but these wings are not well developed to lift their body weight and make them fly. So we saw, cow can survive on land only. Fish can live in water only. Different animals are suited to live in specific surroundings only. This natural environment or surroundings where an animal lives is called as its habitat. It is here where it can fulfill its basic needs of food, water, 
safe home to live and have babies. We saw different habitats like land, water, trees and sky. Animals that live on land are called as terrestrial animals. Animals that live in water are called as aquatic. You know aqua means water. So aquatic animals live in water. Animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibians. Remember, amphi means on both sides and bios means life. That's why amphibians are the animals which can live both on land and in water. Animals that live on trees are called arboreal animals. Animals that can fly are called aerial animals. To remember this, the hint is air, so aerial animals can fly. Based on the habitat, we can divide animals into five groups. Terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. Let us now classify these animals based on their habitat. An elephant lives on land. It is a terrestrial animal. The monkey lives on trees. So, it's an arboreal animal. The fish lives in water. So, it is an aquatic animal. The toad can live both in water and on land. So, it is an amphibian. The butterfly can fly, hence it is an aerial animal.